What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Tommy here from ZD Comics and today I'll be reviewing the rise of the Planet of the Apes. It is Sunday, two days after re its release and I just watched it with my two friends. Wasn't really like too hyped for the movie, I saw the first one, it was really good. That movie I gave an 8 out of 10, but this one was increasingly better. I really enjoyed this movie. Out of like all the movies I watched this summer, like Amazing Spider-Man 2, Captain America, and then of course we got the what X-Men Days of Future Past. This one is probably up there with X-Men Days of Future Past. It is like one of the best movies I've seen this summer and almost one of the best movies I've ever seen. Like it was a really good movie. I gave it a 9 out of 10 if you're wondering what my rating was. This is a non-spoiler review so you don't have to worry about it if you haven't seen the movie. Well first, I'm going to suggest you to go see the movie right now. Pause this uh, video, you know, exit out the screen. I don't really care what you do, but watch this movie. It's really good. Like, I know the critics are giving it a good review. I think it just broke, like, $70 million in the box office, which is amazing. So I'm really excited to see that. Like, we're going to get more movies now with, you know, the Planet of the Apes theme and everything. So let me just break it down for you for the people who haven't seen the movie but kind of want to know what it's about. So it is connected to the first movie, The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, towards the end of the movie, you'll get a really nice connection and like an emotional connection to the first film. But in the beginning, it's almost confusing. Like, everything has changed after the first movie. Like, the first movie sort of hinted towards the end what's going to happen next. And big things change. Like, basically, there is a small human civilization that's very minimal. Like, not much people are surviving. And then there are the apes who are now pretty much in control they can talk they have spears they are in communication they're basically humans but better don't really need too much to survive type people like they are still apes and they're basically surviving in the woods and eventually they meet and there's bad guys on each side it's not really apes versus humans it's just like the bad guy versus the good guy you know it's something different i really like that like it was great caesar great character like it's it's almost as if, like, I, could, I would compliment the actor who is Caesar, but there is no actor. It's just the character itself. Like, it's a great... Caesar is a great character. He's a great father. There's a lot of father figure, too. Like, everything... You'll pretty much get everything in this movie. You'll get drama. You'll get a good relationship. You'll get a father-son relationship, especially. You'll get war. You'll get fighting. You'll get death. And you'll get blood and gore. And it's just... It's a really good movie. It had an overall good touch to it. And I, like I said, highly suggest everyone to see it. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Like I said, you'll get everything in this movie. It started out pretty slow, but it definitely built up to a really anticipating ending. And it ended on a cliffhanger, to say that. Like, there, this is not over. No way, in any way, is it over. And um, great acting. Commissioner Gordon. Yes, I'm calling it Commissioner Gordon. I really don't even know his real name. He's not in it as much as I thought he was. The other main actor, uh, blonde hair dude, he's a he's the good guy and everything. And it's just, you know, it's just, it really is nice. Like, the CGI or whatever the hell they use to make the apes look realistic is fantastic. Like, for one problem I had is I almost thought, like, when I was looking to the ape's eyes itself, I thought I was looking at a human for a second. But then I looked, I'm like, wait, no, I am looking at an ape, you know? It's just... This movie, it was, like, touching. It, like, opened up my eyes. Like, holy crap, are apes going to start attacking? Like, this is crazy. So, it was really good. It was touching. It had everything. It was gory. It had fighting, and I loved it all. I give it a 9 out of 10. Really excited to see the next installment in this film franchise, and I'm just really excited to see it. So, if you didn't see the movie, then like this video and go watch it. If you did see this movie, please comment down below without spoilers what your thoughts were on it. Just give it a rating like, oh, I thought it was a 9 out of 10 because of this. Do not give any spoilers. I will ban you. It's, I will cast a spell or have Caesar go kill you with his freaking bare hands or something or a spear. Or they use guns, by the way. They ride horses and use guns. It's so badass. But anyway, guys, don't forget to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.